Hey, happy Friday. Welcome to The Three Things I Learned. SAS Sports Second Live Events coming at you from beautiful Las Vegas. So I have zero editing tools. We're going to do them all at once with all kinds of mistakes. First one, audio and video for the year. Happy New Year to everyone. Number one, hiring in uptimes and downtimes. When you're hiring superstars, there's always an excuse. We've been boom times for quite a while up until this year. And hiring superstars was hard because there's a lot of money sloshing around and it's difficult to compete with that as they're getting massive offers from different businesses. But that's flipped. Now we have tech layoffs happening every single day at major organizations. And you know what happens to superstars? They get taken care of. When they cut the fat at the big companies, they make sure they take care of the ones that are going to continue to have the trains leaving on time. They're just as difficult to find as they were in the boom times. But you know who is available? There is a silver lining here. That's the entry-level hires. We built our business on hires between 2009 and 2013 that we got because we were swimming upstream and hiring when nobody else was. Focus here, and you might really get to differentiate yourself. Number two, great people follow great leaders. There is an ongoing debate on LinkedIn and social channels in SaaS world about VPs of sales and how when they join, they should be able to bring a number of salespeople with them from their last job within the first 120 days. No. I respect so much the people who make that argument. I think Jason Lemkin has helped so many people go over so many, avoid so many speed bumps that they might have hit otherwise. But I don't agree with this one, and here's why. If you really are a truly great VP of sales, a great one who looks out for your team, then you are hiring your team into an organization where they can thrive without you. You are hiring people into a team that you care about, an organization that you care about. And if you're going to take your next job and immediately go and poach the best people from the job that took care of you in the first place, that's not the kind of person ethically that I want to hire. I want to hire. Nick Saban said the same thing in an interview with Bill Belichick on their HBO special. Now, if you're a VP of sales that could build a great team once, you could probably build it even better the next time without having to poach from the last employer. Let's focus on that as opposed to tearing down the last people. And finally, number three, sponsorship quotas. Like all quotas go up, they almost never go down. Maybe sometimes they stay flat. So let's think about that. The sponsorship world for the last few years has been flooded by new dollars, whether that's been gaming dollars, crypto dollars, those aren't around anymore, or NFT dollars, also not around anymore. There's also not a lot of startups getting a lot of funding right now. Do you think those sponsorship quotas are getting dropped? They're not. Do you think the sponsorship salespeople are cutting back on the lifestyle that they built around what they were getting on those commissions? Not there as well. Big opportunities for big brands in the sponsorship world, and that's applicable to a lot of things. Apologies for the all go in one with no edits, but that's what you gotta do when we're on the road. We're gonna be on the road every week for quite a while now. Thank you, as always, for listening, and we'll see you all next week on the three things.